This video is looking at the auto arima function from the forecast package and trying to show how it does model selection. So we won't really get into the details, but just to give you some sense that it is doing something like we talked about in the textbook. Uh, so I'll load the packages. And then what we're going to do first is to use this uh, time series from the FTP package that was quarterly US personal disposable income. Uh, if you remember, that was the one that looked basically stationary. There wasn't really any clear trend or seasonality or anything. Um, and the uh, auto arena just sort of ended up, uh, the point forecasts were just sort of all the same, just the mean, basically. Um, so usually when you run auto arima, you might just pass it the data, and then that would be the end of it. You run it uh, here. I'm adding some options just to help illustrate um, a particular point. So here, trace is set to true. Uh, that'll help show us the inner workings of how auto arima is computing these information criteria for different possible models and then selecting the best model is the one that has the lowest information criterion. Um, I'm also setting some other values. I'm saying I'm going to assume it's a stationary series um, and not seasonal. Um, although in general, you would not specify that, and then it would allow for even non-stationary series like with trends um, or allow for seasonal uh, series like we saw in some of the other auto arima examples in the previous video. Um, and so what I'm going to do, this bottom part here, uh, qualitatively what it does is it uh, is only going to look at AR models, uh, ARP models, where P has a maximum value of four. Um, so it'll look at AR0, AR1, AR2, AR3, and AR4, and uh, just sort of ignore other types of models. And so I run it, you'll see it runs all those models and it computes the information criterion. Um, here it's using the AICC, which is very similar to the AIC. So here it's saying fitting models. It does uh, something to speed it up. Um, so here where it says ARIMA, um, the first number there corresponds to the AR lag length. Um, and then the other two numbers correspond to things we haven't uh, discussed. And then it allows for, uh, it tries it either with zero mean or with non-zero mean. Um, so here, this first line is an AR0 with zero mean. Second line is an AR0 with non-zero mean. Third line is an AR1 with zero mean, an AR1 with non-zero mean, et cetera. And you can see this value over here, this is the AICC for that model. Um, so the first one got 525, um, allowing for the non-zero mean reduced the AICC substantially down to 448. Um, so remember, lower is better since the information criteria measure how bad a model is. So this one is significantly less bad than the first model. Then uh, the third model you see has higher AICC again. Um, so it's worse than this AR0 with non-zero mean. Um, allowing for the non-zero mean uh, again improves the uh, model according to the AICC but not quite as much as the AR0. You can see as we add more and more lags to the model, uh, the AICC values actually get higher and higher. 
or in other words, the models get worse and worse. So at least according to this particular information criterion, uh, we can see overall the best model or the lowest AICC is 448, which corresponds to an AR0. So I'm not actually using any lag value, um, but allowing for a non-zero mean. And so at the very end, uh, it says now, once it picks the best model using uh, the model selection, it fits that model more uh, precisely. And then at the very end, it tells us explicitly the best model, which we figured out from above. Best model was this AR0 with non-zero mean. And that's the one it fits. In uh, saves, and that's the one if you then asked for a forecast, uh, that would be the forecast that it shows. Um, you can also use uh, AIC or BIC, it'll compute those values for you. Um, one thing to note, if you look at the AICC and the AIC, in this case, they're very nearly the same. They're off by you know, 0 0.07 or something. Um, whereas the BIC is different. Um, and there's another argument if you want to ask it for uh, to use BIC instead. Uh, I think it's the IC argument. You can do that. Um, so just to do one other example here, if we look at the air passengers data, uh, or maybe we'll look at the log air passengers data, um, again, setting trace to true here just for uh, learning about what it's doing. Um, and then this, uh, don't worry about that last one. So if I run that, we'll see again, it's trying all these different models like this and computing the AICC. And then it'll uh, pick the one, the best model as the one with the smallest AICC value. So here it says best model was this ARIMA 011, uh, 01112. This last part is referring to the seasonality. So the first example, we, we turned off the seasonality to make it a little simpler. Um, here you can see auto ARIMA is also sort of looking at different ways to work with seasonality and trying to figure out which one of those is best. Um, and yeah, sometimes I guess the, the model is so bad you get infinity for the AICC. Um, so here the one it claimed was best, 011011 is right here. So here you can see the AICC value is negative 483.2. Uh, so remember again, lower is better because it's measuring how bad the model is. So a big negative number means it's a really good model. And we can see this is a more negative number than any of the other models it tried. So some of them were pretty close, like down here, minus 481. Um, but it's slightly worse since the AICC is slightly above uh, this one. Um, so you can see it just tries all these different models with different numbers of lags and other specifications that uh, we don't have time to talk about. And then it computes the information criterion for all those different models. And then it just finds the one with the most negative, or closest to negative infinity AICC. And that's what it reports as the best model. So that is model selection in action. And again, it's nice, auto ARIMA, the function sort of takes care of all that model selection automatically. So I think it's hopefully reassuring to see that it is doing the, the same general procedure we talked about, but 
in practice, you can just um, pass it the data and trust that it's doing a reasonable job of model selection.